The Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic Russian SFSR or RSFSR, Russian, Rossijskaya Sovetskaya Federativna Socialisticheska Respublika Tr. Rossiskaya Sovetskaya Federativnaya Socialisticheskaya Respublika, IPA, RSISV Skaj FDRT Ivnij Saintsil St. Its R K. Listen, previously known as the Russian Soviet Republic and the Russian Socialist Federative Soviet Republic, as well as being an officially known as the Russian Federation, Soviet Russia, or simply Russia, was an independent state from 1917 to 1922, and afterwards the largest, most populous, and most economically developed. Of of the 15 Soviet Socialist Republics of the Soviet Union USSR from 1922 to 1991, then a sovereign part of the Soviet Union with priority of Russian laws over Union-level legislation in 1990 and 1991, during the last two years of the existence of the USSR. The Russian Republic comprised 16 smaller constituent units of autonomous republics, 5 autonomous oblasts, 10 autonomous okrugs, 6 krais and 40 oblasts. Russians formed the largest ethnic group. The capital of the Russian SFSR was Moscow and the other major urban centers included Leningrad, Novosibirsk, Yekaterinburg, Nizhny Novgorod and Samara. The economy of Russia became heavily industrialized, accounting for about two-thirds of the electricity produced in the USSR. By 1961, it was the third largest producer of petroleum due to new discoveries in the Volga-Urals region and Siberia, trailing in production to only the United States and Saudi Arabia. In 1974, there were 475 institutes of higher education in the Republic providing education in 47 languages to some 23,941,000 students. A network of territorially organized public health services provided health care. After 1985, the perestroika restructuring policies of the Gorbachev administration relatively liberalized the economy, which had become stagnant since the late 1970s under General Secretary Leonid Brezhnev, with the introduction of non-state-owned enterprises such as cooperatives. The Russian Soviet Republic was proclaimed on 7 November 1917 October Revolution as a sovereign state and the world's first constitutionally socialist state with the ideology of communism. The first constitution was adopted in 1918. In 1922, the Russian SFSR signed the treaty on the creation of the USSR officially setting up of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. The 1977 Soviet constitution stated that Union Republic is a sovereign state that has united in the Union. And each Union Republic shall retain the right freely to secede from the USSR. On 12 June 1990, the Congress of People's Deputies adopted the Declaration of State Sovereignty, established separation of powers instead of Soviet form of government, established citizenship of Russia and stated that the RSFSR shall retain the right of free secession from the USSR. On 12 June 1991, Boris Yeltsin was elected the first president of the Russian Federation, supported by the Democratic Russia pro-reform movement. The August 1991 Soviet coup d'état attempt with the temporary brief internment of President Mikhail Gorbachev destabilized the Soviet Union. On 8 December 1991, the heads of Russia, Ukraine and Belarus signed the Beloveza Accords. The agreement declared dissolution of the USSR by its original founding states i.e. denunciation of 1922 Treaty on the Creation of the USSR and established the Commonwealth of Independent States CIS as a loose confederation. On 12 December, the agreement was ratified by the Supreme Soviet the Russian SFSR Parliament, therefore Russian SFSR had denounced the treaty on the creation of the USSR and de facto declared Russia's independence from the USSR itself and the ties with the other Soviet socialist republics. On 25 December 1991, following the resignation of Gorbachev as President of the Soviet Union and former General Secretary of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, the Russian SFSR was renamed the Russian Federation, with President Yeltsin re-establishing the sovereign and independent state see History of Russia from 1991 onwards. 
with the lowering at 12 midnight of the red flag with hammer and sickle design of the now former USSR from the towers of the Kremlin in Moscow on the 26th of December 1991 the USSR was self-dissolved by the Soviet of the Republics which by that time was the only functioning chamber of the parliamentary supreme Soviet the other house Soviet of the Union had already lost the quorum after recall of its members by the several Union republics after dissolution of the USSR, Russia declared that it assumed the rights and obligations of the dissolved Central Soviet government, including UN membership and permanent membership on the Security Council, but originally excluding foreign debt and foreign assets of the USSR also parts of the former Soviet Red Army and nuclear weapons remained under overall CIS command as CIS United Armed Forces. The 1978 RSFSR constitution was amended several times to reflect the transition to democracy, private property and market economy. The new Russian constitution, coming into effect on 25 December 1993 after a constitutional crisis, completely abolished the Soviet form of government and replaced it with a semi-presidential system. Topic. Nomenclature. Under the leadership of Vladimir Lenin (1870–1924) and Leon Trotsky (1879–1940), the Bolshevik Communists established the Soviet state on the 7th of November (OS) the 25th of October 1917. Immediately after the interim Russian Provisional Government, most recently led by opposing Democratic Socialist Alexander Kerensky (1881–1970), which governed the new Russian Republic after the overthrow of the Russian Empire government of the Romanov Imperial. Dynasty of Tsar Nicholas II the previous March, was now itself overthrown during the following October Revolution, the second of the two Russian revolutions that turbulent year of 1917 during World War I initially, the state did not have an official name and wasn't recognized by neighboring countries for five months. Meanwhile, anti-Bolsheviks coined the mocking label Sovdepia for the nascent state of the Soviets of Workers and Peasants Deputies. On the 25th of January 1918, the third meeting of the All-Russian Congress of Soviets renamed the unrecognized state the Russian Soviet Republic. The Treaty of Brest-Litovsk was signed on the 3rd of March 1918, giving away much of the borderlands in the west of the former Russian Empire to the German Empire, Germany, in exchange for peace during the last year of the rest of World War I. On the 10th of July 1918, the Russian Constitution of 1918 renamed the country the Russian Socialist Federative Soviet Republic. By 1918, during the subsequent Russian Civil War several states within the former Russian Empire seceded, reducing the size of the country even more. Internationally, the RSFSR was recognized as an independent state in 1920 only by bordering neighbors of Estonia, Finland, Latvia and Lithuania in the Treaty of Tartu and by the short-lived Irish Republic in Ireland. On 30 December 1922, with the Treaty on the Creation of the Soviet Union, Russia, alongside the Transcaucasian SFSR, the Ukrainian SSR and the Byelorussian SSR formed the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. The final Soviet name for the Constituent Republic, the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic, was adopted in the later Soviet Constitution of 1936. By that time, Soviet Russia had gained roughly the same borders of the old serdom of Russia before the Great Northern War of 1700. For most of the Soviet Union's existence, it was commonly referred to as Russia, even though technically Russia itself was only one republic within the larger Union of 15 republics, albeit by far the largest, most powerful and most highly developed. On 25 December 1991, following the collapse of the Soviet Union officially on 26 December, the Republic was officially renamed the Russian Federation, which it remains to this day. This name and Russia were specified as the official state names on 21 April 1992, an amendment to the then existing Constitution of 1978 and were retained as such in the subsequent 1993 Constitution of Russia. Geography At a total of about 17,125,200 kilometres the Russian SFSR was the largest of its 15 republics, with its southerly neighbour, the Kazakh SSR, being second. 
The international borders of the RSFSR touched Poland on the west, Norway and Finland of Scandinavia on the northwest, and to its southeast in Eastern Asia were the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, North Korea, Mongolian People's Republic, Mongolia, and the People's Republic of China, China, formerly the Republic of China, 1911 to 1949. Within the Soviet Union, the RSFSR bordered the Slavic states, Ukrainian SSR Ukraine, Belarusian SSR Belarus, the Baltic states, Estonian SSR Estonia, Latvian SSR Latvia, and Lithuanian SSR Lithuania, annexed forcibly in 1940 to its west and the Azerbaijan SSR Azerbaijan, Georgian SSR Georgia, and Kazakh SSR Kazakhstan to the south in Central Asia, roughly 70% of the area in the RSFSR are consisted of broad plains, with mountainous tundra regions mainly concentrated in the east of Siberia with Central Asia and East Asia. The area is rich in mineral resources, including petroleum, natural gas, and iron ore. History Early years 1917 The Soviet government first came to power on 7 November 1917, immediately after the interim Russian Provisional Government later headed by Democratic Socialist Alexander Kerensky, which governed the Russian Republic, was overthrown in the October Revolution, the second of the two Russian revolutions. The state it governed, which did not have an official name, would be unrecognized by neighboring countries for another five months. On 25 January 1918, at the third meeting of the All-Russian Congress of Soviets, the unrecognized state was renamed the Russian Soviet Republic. On 3 March 1918, the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk was signed, giving away much of the land of the former Russian Empire to the German Empire Germany, in exchange for peace on the Eastern Front of World War I. On 10 July 1918, the Russian Constitution of 1918 renamed the country the Russian Socialist Federative Soviet Republic. By 1918, during the Russian Civil War, several states within the former Russian Empire had seceded, reducing the size of the country even more. The RSFSR was recognized as an independent state internationally by only bordering western neighboring states of Estonia, Finland, Latvia and Lithuania in the Treaty of Tartu in 1920. 1920s. On 30 December 1922, the first Congress of the Soviets of the USSR approved the treaty on the creation of the USSR, by which Russia was united with the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic, Byelorussian Soviet Socialist Republic and Transcaucasian Soviet Federal Socialist Republic into a single federal state, the Soviet Union. The treaty was included in the 1924 Soviet Constitution, adopted on 31 January 1924 by the Second Congress of Soviets of the USSR. Paragraph 3 of Chapter 1 of the 1925 Constitution of the RSFSR stated the following by the will of the peoples of the Russian Socialist Federative Soviet Republic, who decided on the formation of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics during the Tenth All-Russian Congress of Soviets, the Russian Socialist Federative Soviet Republic, being a part of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, devolves to the Union the powers which according to Article 1 of the Constitution of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics are included within the scope of responsibilities of the government bodies of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. 1930s Many regions in Russia were affected by the Soviet famine of 1932–1933, Volga, Central Black Soil Region, North Caucasus, the Urals, the Crimea, part of Western Siberia, and the Kazakh ASSR. With the adoption of the 1936 Soviet Constitution on 5 December 1936, the size of the RSFSR was significantly reduced. The Kazakh ASSR and Kyrgyz ASSR were transformed into the Kazakh SSR Kazakhstan and Kyrgyz Soviet Socialist Republic Kyrgyzstan. The former Karakalpak Autonomous Socialist Soviet Republic was transferred to the Uzbek SSR Uzbekistan. The final name for the republic during the Soviet era was adopted by the Russian Constitution of 1937, which renamed it the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic RSFSR. 1945 
In 1943, Karachay Autonomous Oblast was dissolved by Joseph Stalin (1878–1953), General Secretary of the Communist Party and Marshal, later Premier and Dictator, when the Karachays were exiled to Central Asia for their alleged collaboration with the invading Nazi Germans in the Great Patriotic War (World War II, 1941–1945), and territory was incorporated into the Georgian SSR. On 3 March 1944, on the orders of Stalin, the Chechen Ingush ASSR was disbanded and its population forcibly deported upon the accusations of collaboration with the invaders and separatism. The territory of the ASSR was divided between other administrative units of Russian SFSR and the Georgian SSR. On the 11th of October 1944, the Tuvan People's Republic was joined with the Russian SFSR as the Tuvan Autonomous Oblast, becoming an autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic in 1961. After reconquering Estonia and Latvia in 1944, the Russian SFSR annexed their easternmost territories around Avangorod and within the modern Pekorsky and Pytalovsky districts in 1944-1945. At the end of World War II Soviet troops of the Red Army occupied southern Sakhalin Island and the Kuril Islands off the coast of East Asia, north of Japan, making them part of the RSFSR. The status of the southernmost Kurils, north of Hokkaido of the Japanese home islands remains in dispute with Japan and the United States following the Peace Treaty of 1951 ending the state of war. On 17 April 1946, the Kaliningrad Oblast, the northern portion of the former Kingdom of Prussia, the founding state of the German Empire 1871 and later the German province of East Prussia including the Baltic German seaport city of Königsberg, was occupied and annexed by the Soviet Union and made part of the Russian SFSR, following the campaigns on the Eastern Front of World War II. 1950s. After the death of Joseph Stalin, 5 March 1953, Georgi Malenkov became the new leader of the USSR. In January 1954, Malenkov transferred Crimea from the Russian SFSR to the Ukrainian SSR. On 8 February 1955, Malenkov was officially demoted to Deputy Prime Minister. As first secretary of the Central Committee of the Communist Party, Nikita Khrushchev's authority was significantly enhanced by Malenkov's demotion. On 9 January 1957, Karachay Autonomous Oblast and Chechen Ingush Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic were restored by Khrushchev and they were transferred from the Georgian SSR back to the Russian SFSR. The Kirilo Finnish SSR was transferred back to the RSFSR as the Karelian ASSR in 1956. 1960s–1980s In 1964, Nikita Khrushchev was removed from his position of power and replaced with Leonid Brezhnev. Under his rule, the Russian SFSR and the rest of the Soviet Union went through an era of stagnation. Even after he died in 1982, the era did not end until Mikhail Gorbachev took power in March 1985 and introduced liberal reforms in Soviet society. <laughs> Early 1990s On 29 May 1990, at his third attempt, Boris Yeltsin was elected the chairman of the Supreme Soviet of the Russian SFSR. The Congress of People's Deputies of the Republic adopted the Declaration of State Sovereignty of the Russian SFSR on 12 June 1990, which was the beginning of the War of Laws, pitting the Soviet Union against the Russian Federation and other constituent republics. On 17 March 1991, an all-Russian referendum created the post of President of the RSFSR. On 12 June, Boris Yeltsin was elected President of Russia by popular vote. During an unsuccessful coup attempt on 19–21 August 1991 in Moscow, the capital of the Soviet Union and Russia, President of Russia Yeltsin strongly supported the President of the Soviet Union, Mikhail Gorbachev. After the failure of GKCHP, in the presence of Gorbachev, on 23 August 1991, Yeltsin signed a decree suspending all activity by the Communist Party of the Russian SFSR in the territory of Russia. 
On 6 November, he went further, banning the Communist parties of the USSR and the RSFSR from the territory of the RSFSR. On 8 December 1991, at Viskuli near Brest, Belarus, the president of the Russian SFSR and the heads of Byelorussian SSR and Ukrainian SSR signed the Agreement on the Establishment of the Commonwealth of Independent States, known in media as Beleveza Accords. The document, consisting of a preamble and 14 articles, stated that the Soviet Union ceased to exist as a subject of international law and geopolitical reality. However, based on the historical community of peoples, relations between them, given the bilateral treaties, the desire for a democratic rule of law, the intention to develop their relations based on mutual recognition and respect for state sovereignty, the parties agreed to the formation of the Commonwealth of Independent States. On 12 December, the agreement was ratified by the Supreme Soviet of the Russian SFSR by an overwhelming majority, 188 votes for, 6 against and 7 abstentions. On the same day, the Supreme Soviet of the Russian SFSR denounced the treaty on the creation of the USSR and recalled all Russian deputies from the Supreme Soviet of the Soviet Union. The legality of this act is the subject of discussions because, according to the 1978 Constitution basic law of the Russian SFSR, the Russian Supreme Soviet had no right to do so. However, by this time the Soviet government had been rendered more or less impotent and was in no position to object. Although the 12th of December vote is sometimes reckoned as the moment that the RSFSR seceded from the collapsing Soviet Union, this is not the case. It appears that the RSFSR took the line that it was not possible to secede from an entity that no longer existed. On 24 December, Yeltsin informed the Secretary General of the United Nations that by agreement of the member states of the Cis-Russian Federation would assume the membership of the Soviet Union in all UN organs including permanent membership in the UN Security Council. Thus, Russia is considered to be an original member of the UN since the 24th of October 1945, along with Ukraine, Ukrainian SSR, and Belarus, Belarusian SSR. On the 25th of December, just hours after Gorbachev resigned as president of the Soviet Union, the Russian SFSR was renamed the Russian Federation, Russia, reflecting that it was now a sovereign state with Yeltsin assuming the presidency. That same night, the Soviet flag was lowered and replaced with the tricolor. The Soviet Union officially ceased to exist the next day. The change was originally published on 6 January 1992 Gazeta. According to law, during 1992, it was allowed to use the old name of the RSFSR for official business forms, seals and stamps. Post-Soviet transition 1991-1993 Russia made a significant turn toward developing a market economy by implanting basic tenets such as market-determined prices. Two fundamental and interdependent goals—macroeconomic stabilization and economic restructuring—the transition from central planning to a market-based economy. The former entailed implementing fiscal and monetary policies that promote economic growth in an environment of stable prices and exchange rates. The latter required establishing the commercial, and institutional entities—banks, private property, and commercial legal codes—that permit the economy to operate efficiently. Opening domestic markets to foreign trade and investment, thus linking the economy with the rest of the world, was an important aid in reaching these goals. The Gorbachev regime failed to address these fundamental goals. At the time of the Soviet Union's demise, the Yeltsin government of the Russian Republic had begun to attack the problems of macroeconomic stabilization and economic restructuring. By mid-1996, the results were mixed, the struggle for the center of power in post-Soviet Russia and for the nature of the economic reforms culminated in a political crisis and bloodshed in the fall of 1993. Yeltsin, who represented a course of radical privatization, was opposed by the parliament. Confronted with opposition to the presidential power of decree and threatened with impeachment, he dissolved the parliament on 21 September, in contravention of the existing constitution, and ordered new elections and a referendum on a new constitution. The parliament then declared Yeltsin deposed and appointed Alexander Rutskoy acting president on of September. Tensions built quickly, and matters came to a head after street riots on 2-3 October. On 4 October, Yeltsin ordered special forces and elite army units to storm the parliament building, the White House, 
as it is called, with tanks thrown against the small arms fire of the parliamentary defenders, the outcome was not in doubt. Rutskoy, Ruslan Kasbulatov, and the other parliamentary supporters surrendered and were immediately arrested and jailed. The official count was 187 dead, 437 wounded with several men killed and wounded on the presidential side. Government The government was known officially as the Council of People's Commissars 1917-1946, Council of Ministers 1946-1978 and Council of Ministers Government 1978-1991. The first government was headed by Vladimir Lenin as chairman of the Council of People's Commissars of the Russian SFSR and the last by Boris Yeltsin as both head of government and head of state under the title of president. The Russian SFSR was controlled by the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, until the abortive 1991 August coup, which prompted President Yeltsin to suspend the recently created Communist Party of the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic. <laughs> <laughs> Autonomous republics within the Russian SFSR Turkestan ASSR was formed on 30 April 1918 on the territory of the former Turkestan General Governorate. As part of the delimitation program of Soviet Central Asia, the Turkestan ASSR along with the Khorizm SSR and the Bukharan PSR were disbanded on 27 October 1924 and in their place came the Soviet Union republics of Turkmen SSR and Uzbek SSR. The latter contained the Tajik ASSR until December 1929 when it too became a full union republic, the Tajik SSR. The RSFSR retained the newly formed Kara Kyrgyz and the Kara Kalpak Autonomous Oblasts. The latter was part of the Kyrgyz, then the Kazakh ASSR until 1930 when it was directly subordinated to Moscow. Bashkir ASSR was formed on 23 March 1919 from several northern districts of the Orenburg Governorate populated by Bashkirs. On the 11th of October 1990, it declared its sovereignty, as the Bashkir SSR, which was renamed in 1992 the Republic of Bashkortostan. Tatar ASSR was formed on 27 May 1920 on the territory of the western two-thirds of the Kazan Governorate populated by Tatars. On 30 October 1990, it declared sovereignty as the Republic of Tatarstan and on 18 October 1991 declared its independence. The Russian Constitutional Court overturned the declaration on 13 March 1992. In February 1994, a separate agreement was reached with Moscow on the status of Tatarstan as an associate state in Russia with Confederate status. Kyrgyz ASSR was formed on 26 August 1920 from the Ural, Turgay, Semipalatinsk oblasts and parts of Transcaspia, Buki Horde and Orenburg Governorate populated by Kyrgyz Kazakhs former name of Kazakh people. Further enlarged in 1921 upon gaining land from OMSK Governorate and again in 1924 from parts of Jedisu Governorate and Syr Darya and Samarkand oblasts. On 19 April 1925, it was renamed as the Kazakh ASSR, see below. Mountain ASSR was formed on 20 January 1921 after the Bolshevik Red Army evicted the short-lived mountainous republic of the Northern Caucasus. Initially composed of several national districts, one by one these left the Republic until 7 November 1924 when the remains of the Republic was partitioned into the Ingush Autonomous Oblast, the North Ossetian Autonomous Oblast and the Sunza Cossack District all subordinates to the North Caucasus Krai. Dagestan ASSR was formed on 20 January 1921 from the former Dagestan Oblast. On 17 September 1991, it declared sovereignty as the Dagestan SSR. Crimean ASSR was formed on 18 October 1921 on the territory of Crimean Peninsula, following the Red Army's eviction of Baron Wrangel's army, ending the Russian Civil War in Europe. On 18 May 1944, it was reduced to the status of oblast alongside the deportation of the Crimean Tatars as collective punishment for alleged collaboration with the Nazi occupation regime in Torida subdistrict. On 19 February 1954, it was transferred to the Ukrainian SSR. Re-established on 12 February 1991, it declared sovereignty on 4 September of that year. 
On 5 May 1992, it declared independence as the Republic of Crimea. On 13 May, the Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine overturned the declaration, but compromised on an autonomous Republic of Crimea within Ukraine. After the 2014 Ukrainian Revolution, a Russian military intervention and a disputed referendum, Crimea was annexed by Russia in March 2014. Yakut ASSR was formed on 16 February 1922 upon the elevation of the Yakut Autonomous Oblast into an ASSR. On 27 September 1990, it declared sovereignty as the Yakut Saka Soviet Socialist Republic. From 21 December 1991, it has been known as the Republic of Sakha Yakusha. Buryat ASSR was formed on 30 March 1923 as due to the merger of the Mongol Buryat Autonomous Oblast of the RSFSR and the Buryat Mongol Autonomous Oblast of the Far Eastern Republic. Until 7 July 1958 Mongol Buryat ASSR. On 27 March 1991 it became the Republic of Buryatia. Karelian ASSR was formed on 23 July 1923 when the Karelian Labour Commune was integrated into the RSFSR's administrative structure. On 31 March 1940, it was elevated into a full Union Republic as the Karelo Finnish SSR. On 16 July 1956, it was downgraded in status to that of an ASSR and resubordinated to RSFSR. It declared sovereignty on 13 October 1991 as the Republic of Karelia. Volga German ASSR was formed on 19 December 1924 upon elevation of the Volga German Autonomous Oblast into an ASSR. On 28 August 1941, upon the deportation of Volga Germans to Central Asia, the ASSR was disbanded. The territory was partitioned between the Saratov and Stalingrad Oblasts. Kazakh ASSR was formed on 19 April 1925 when the first Kyrgyz ASSR was renamed and partitioned. Upon the ratification of the new Soviet constitution, the ASSR was elevated into a full Union Republic on 3 December 1936. On 25 October 1990, it declared sovereignty and on 16 December 1991 its independence as the Republic of Kazakhstan. Chuvash ASSR was formed on 21 April 1925 upon the elevation of the Chuvash Autonomous Oblast into an ASSR. It declared sovereignty on 26 October 1990 as the Chuvash SSR. Kyrgyz ASSR was formed on 1 February 1926 upon elevation of the Kyrgyz Autonomous Oblast. Upon the ratification of the new Soviet constitution, the ASSR was elevated into a full Union Republic on 3 December 1936. On 12 December 1990, it declared sovereignty as the Republic of Kyrgyzstan and on 31 August 1991 its independence. Kara Kalpak ASSR was formed on 20 March 1932 upon elevation of the Kara Kalpak Autonomous Oblast into the Kara Kalpak ASSR, from 5 December 1936 a part of the Uzbek SSR. In 1964, it was renamed the Kara Kalpak ASSR. It declared sovereignty on 14 December 1990. Mordovian ASSR was formed on 20 December 1934 upon the elevation of Mordovian Autonomous Oblast into an ASSR. It declared sovereignty on 13 December 1990 as the Mordovian SSR. Since 25 January 1991, it has been known as the Republic of Mordovia. Udmurt ASSR was formed on 28 December 1934 upon the elevation of Udmurt Autonomous Oblast into an ASSR. It declared sovereignty on 20 September 1990. Since the 11th of October 1991 it has been known as the Udmurt Republic. Kalmyk ASSR was formed on 20 October 1935 upon the elevation of Kalmyk Autonomous Oblast into an ASSR. On 27 December 1943, upon the deportation of the Kalmyks, the ASSR was disbanded and split between the newly established Astrakhan Oblast and parts adjoined to Rostov Oblast, Krasnodar Krai and Stavropol Krai. On 9 January 1957, Kalmyk Autonomous Oblast was re-established in its present borders, first as a part of Stavropol Krai and from 19 July 1958 as a part of the Kalmyk ASSR. On 18 October 1990, it declared sovereignty as the Kalmyk SSR. 
Cabardino Balkar ASSR was formed on 5 December 1936 upon the departure of the Cabardino Balkar Autonomous Oblast from the North Caucasus Cray. After the deportation of the Balkars on 8 April 1944, the Republic is renamed as Cabardine ASSR and parts of its territory transferred to Georgian SSR. Upon the return of the Balkars, the KBASSR is reinstated on 9 January 1957. On 31 January 1991, the Republic declared sovereignty as the Cabardino Balkar SSR and from 10 March 1992 as the Cabardino Balkarian Republic. Northern Ossetian ASSR was formed on 5 December 1936 upon the disbandment of the North Caucasus Cray and its constituent North Ossetian Autonomous Oblast was raised into an ASSR. Declared sovereignty on 26 December 1990 as the North Ossetian SSR. Chechen Ingush ASSR was formed on 5 December 1936 when the North Caucasus Krai was disestablished and its constituent Chechen Ingush Autonomous Oblast was elevated into an ASSR and subordinated to Moscow. Following the en masse deportation of the Chechens and Ingush, on 7 March 1944 the Chias SR was disbanded and the Grozny Okrug was temporarily administered by Stavropol Kray until the 22nd of March when the territory was portioned between North Ossetian and Dagestan ASSRs and the Georgian SSR. The remaining land was merged with Stavropol Kray's Kizilyar district and organized as Grozny Oblast, which existed until 9 January 1957 when the Chias SR was re-established though only the southern border's original shape was retained. It declared sovereignty on 27 November 1990 as the Chechen Ingush Republic. On 8 June 1991, the Second Chechen National Congress proclaimed a separate Chechen Republic and on 6 September began a coup which overthrew the Soviet local government. De facto, all authority passed to the self-proclaimed government which was renamed as the Chechen Republic of Ichkaria in early 1993. In response, the Western Ingush districts after a referendum on 28 November 1991 were organized into an Ingush Republic which was officially established on 4 June 1992 by decree of Russian President as the Republic of Ingushetia. The same decree de jure created a Chechen Republic, although it would be established only on 3 June 1994 and carry out partial governance during the First Chechen War. The Kasavyrt Accord would again suspend the government on 15 November 1996. The present Chechen Republic government was re-established on 15 October 1999. Komi ASSR was formed on 5 December 1936 upon the elevation of the Komi Zyrian Autonomous Oblast into an ASSR. Declared sovereignty on 23 November 1990 as the Komi SSR and from 26 May 1992 as the Republic of Komi. Mari ASSR was formed on 5 December 1936 upon the elevation of the Mari Autonomous Oblast into an ASSR. Declared sovereignty on the 22nd of December 1990 as the Mari Soviet Socialist Republic Mari L. Tuva ASSR was formed on 10 October 1961 when the Tuva Autonomous Oblast was elevated into an ASSR. On 12 December 1990, it declared sovereignty as the Soviet Republic of Tuva. Gorno Altai ASSR was formed on 25 October 1990 when Gorno Altai Autonomous Oblast declared sovereignty. Since 3 July 1991, it has been known as the Gorno Altai SSR. Karachievo Cherkessian ASSR was formed on 17 November 1990 when Karachay Cherkess Autonomous Oblast was elevated into an ASSR and instead of Stavropol Krai subordinated directly to the RSFSR. It declared sovereignty on 3 July 1991 as the Karachay Cherkis SSR. Culture National holidays and symbols The public holidays for the Russian SFSR included Defender of the Fatherland Day, the 23rd of February, which honors Russian men, especially those serving in the army, International Women's Day, the 8th of March, which combines the traditions of Mother's Day and Valentine's Day, Spring and Labor Day, the 1st of May, Victory Day, and like all other Soviet republics, the Great October Socialist Revolution, the 7th of November.
Victory Day is the second most popular holiday in Russia as it commemorates the victory over Nazism in the Great Patriotic War. A huge military parade, hosted by the President of Russia, is annually organized in Moscow on Red Square. Similar parades take place in all major Russian cities and cities with the status Hero City or City of Military Glory. During its 76-year existence, the Russian SFSR anthem was Patriotikeskaya Pesnya, but before 1990 the previous anthem shared its music with the Soviet anthem, though not the lyrics and the Internationale was its anthem before 1944. The motto, ''Proletarians of all countries, unite'' was commonly used and shared with other Soviet republics. The hammer and sickle and the full Soviet coat of arms were still widely seen in Russian cities as a part of old architectural decorations until its slow gradual removal in 1991. The Soviet red stars are also encountered, often on military equipment and war memorials. The red banner continues to be honored, especially the banner of victory of 1945. The Matryoshka doll is a recognizable symbol of the Russian SFSR and the Soviet Union as a whole and the towers of Moscow Kremlin and St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow are Russian SFSR's main architectural icons. The chamomile is the national flower while birch is the national tree. The Russian bear is an animal symbol and a national personification of Russia. Though this image has a Western origin, Russians themselves have accepted it. The native Soviet Russian national personification is Mother Russia. Topic: <inaudible> Flag history. The flag of the Russian SFSR changed numerous times, with the original being a field of red with the Russian name of the republic written on the flag's center in white. This flag had always been intended to be temporary, as it was changed less than a year after its adoption. The second flag had the letters RSFSR RSFSR written in yellow within the canton and encased within two yellow lines forming a right angle. The next flag was used from 1937, notably during World War II. Interesting because it was used until Joseph Stalin's death when a major vexillological reform was undertaken within the Soviet Union. This change incorporated an update for all the flags of the Soviet republics as well as for the flag of the Soviet Union itself. The flag of the Russian SFSR was now a defaced version of the flag of the Soviet Union, with the main difference being a minor repositioning of the hammer and sickle and most notably adding a blue vertical stripe to the hoist. This version of the flag was used from 1954 all the way to 1991, where it was changed due to the collapse of the Soviet Union. The flag was somewhat reverted to the original imperial civil ensign of Russia, with a notable difference being the proportions. After 1993 when the Russian SFSR was officially dissolved into the Russian Federation, the final flag of Soviet Russia was used with its original two to three proportions. Notes References External links In Russian full texts and all laws amending constitutions of the Russian SFSR Russian Federation, the whole republic a construction site by D.S. Polyansky. Full 1918 RSFSR Constitution